what was that actor that just went to the Met Ball that had his head made? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Jared. Oh, Jared, Sorry, Leto. Jared Leto. Yeah, right. so Jared Leto right now. <laughs> I'm Courtney, and this is my handmade home in Atlanta, Georgia. I feel like our home is um, very influenced by what we do for a living. I'm an artist and my husband's a photographer um, and our home is very colorful and playful and full of um, photography and books and art from all of our travels. When we first moved into this house, everything was yellow and not this bright poppy yellow that I love. It was a yellow that you get when it's supposed to be white, but someone's been smoking in there for too long. So pretty much the day that we got the keys, the first thing we did was buy paint. A little paint can go a long way. In our living room, for instance, I've tried to keep it more gender neutral in the colors so that my husband can feel like he lives here too. So our home is still colorful, but probably not quite as colorful as my artwork is. The biggest splurge in our home so far would probably be our anthropology leather chair and chase. Um, everyone loves this. Basically, as soon as we saw both of those pieces, I knew that they were gonna be mine and I saw someone looking at the chase and I, I was like, oh no. The dogs love it too, I think because of the soft velvet and I had to go lay down on it to make sure that nobody else was gonna get it. I never know what I'm looking for, I just know it when I see it. So he would say everything's a splurge. <laughs> it's just so funky and it's really heavy, um, but yeah, I've, I've held on to all of my ceramic pieces because they're all just a little quirky. We're sad that we weren't gonna get a yard, um, but we found this house that has two awesome patios and we already had the patio furniture from our previous place and luckily the bed fits perfect out there on the patio for us. The dogs love it. Pickle will stand at the door and just cry for us to let him out onto the patio so he can sunbathe. So moving into this house, it was really fun to finally have a dining room. We didn't even have a kitchen island before. We ate all of our meals from our coffee table and our loft. My next purchase was a table and I searched for a few months and then randomly one day I found a vendor that makes tables. The best part about it is that um, the legs fold up so you can see Underneath here, there's like a, a black bar where you can pull out a pin and just fold up both of the legs. So if we wanted to take that table out and put it in our garage um, to have that space, you know, to be like a yoga room or a sitting room or a playroom in the future, whatever, um, that was really important to me, so. My husband's office is also our a guest room for when we have visitors. So this is uh, my office area where I pretend to get some work done sometimes and um, also a place to host our friends when they're in the town. But it was more important to me that since I get my own studio space that it's only fair that my husband gets his own space too. So the room also features, uh, you know, we have, I've got a couple of portraits that I've shot of a friend. One of my favorite things was that this thing here that Courtney got for me on her first anniversary. It's a map of where we got married in Iceland. I always wanted an at-home studio. You know, I wanted it to be a space that would be so inspiring that I would want to go down there and do the work. So that's probably my favorite spot in the home. I needed it to be cute, but most importantly, I needed it to be functional so that I can actually do the work that needs to be done. This is kind of the more decorated space and where I can sit down and do my computer work or I sit here to draw. But then I needed a work table where I could sew and cut leather. This is more of my work space. It's industrial grade um, because I like to make leather handbags. So I cut and sew my leather here and I needed an area where I could paint 
I like to work on the floor a lot, so that's why my easel is so low, so I can just stack pillows and sit and paint. I also wanted it to be super cute and beautiful, but most importantly, it had to be functional. My super sweet husband built me this ladder so I can crawl up top of this closet, and that is where I um, store extra canvases. So um, I wrote a book about acrylic painting. It's called Playing With Paint. Um, painting is definitely my number one passion. So I definitely have one chapter in the book that's called Off the Canvas. So it's showing you how you can use your paints in your home to paint your walls, you know, paint your furniture or do different projects. I like that to use paint to breathe life into your home. Let me show you this bathroom. Um, we have four bathrooms in our house and there's only two of us. So this bathroom I call the party pooper. <laughs> I added um, stars to the top of that floor. It was a tedious process, so allow yourself more time than what you thought because you need lots of drying time in between the layers. It's decorated with a lot of, I guess, like nostalgic things. I did like my own version of hand-painted wallpaper. All the little decorations that I have in there, I think really show my personality, even though it's just a bathroom. Like, I have a little thing that says like, please f off, like really cute. And, pink lettering. <laughs> so I think that the bathroom shows my humor and my playfulness. I just see that that's my style. I have this very playful, youthful home and I don't think it matters how old I get. I will always have that vibe in my house. Your home should be your sacred space and it should be your favorite space to be, I think. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more home tours like this one.